It's back to a new video. Behind me is the new Seat Ibiza FR 2022 model and I will try to review it interior exterior. I try to show you as many details as possible if I can do that because as you see many people are around here. So yeah, let me try my best. So now let's start the review. I want to show you the exterior of the car if I can do that because every time I try to film thousand people come around me and I don't know why. The shape of the car, the size of the car the design of the car on the exterior it's very similar with the previous version but when you go inside it's totally different story it's really really different now i want to give you some technical data before i go forward and first of all guys the price of the car is 27750 francs it's a pretty good price i will add the price in dollars but this price included some um, some discounts that are also here in switzerland i'm not sure in your country may be different also, those are the options. You can pause the video and read it. Uh, I'll try to make the video as short as possible. This model here, it's with one liter TSI, 110 horsepower, seven speed DSG, automatic transmission. And also it comes with uh, LED lights um, and all that uh, functions. Just pause the video, just, just read it out, guys. Let me go forward. So first of all, as I said before, the design of the car, exterior design, it's very similar with the previous version with a little bit of changes here and there. Uh, for example, the lights in the back are a little bit different. Also, I like the way they write Ibiza here in the middle. It looks quite nice going backwards a little bit. Yeah, overall, it's a nice design. I like the back of the car. The front looks very similar with the previous version, but the back of the car, it looks a little bit different with those lines here and sharp edges. Um, if I go down here, you have also two exhaust pipes, two fake exhaust pipes uh, that are down here on the bumper. Other than that, not big difference uh, on the exterior. In the interior of the car, there are much more uh, changes that I want to show you guys. But before we go inside, I want to finish with the exterior design of the car. Uh, and yeah, also the rims. Let's talk a little bit about the rims. The model that I have right here, it comes with 17 inch rims. Uh, you have brake discs in the back, not ventilated. The rims look nice. I like these uh, silver rims. They fit really nice with the car. I was always fan of these silver rims. I don't know why I always like it. Ventilated brake discs in the front. I like that. And also down here in this area, you have the paint of the car. So you don't have any protection or something like that. But I like the fact that they add these plastics here in this area. So it's kind of protect the paint of the car from, from stones and rust in time. Now going forward, also because the car is a dark color, you cannot see so well the lines. But it has kind of some interesting lines here in this area and down there. So overall, yeah, it's okay. It's relatively fine from the side. Also, the handles of the car are very simple. Uh, they use kind of the same handles as Volkswagen use it on the uh, other models. For example, Polo, uh, the new Polo, Polo has the same handles. Then you have the mirror, quite interesting design on the mirror, quite futuristic. Also, you have the blind spot technology in the corner. It's in black color, the mirror. I like the way they design it. Really, really interesting design of the mirror. Also, it's quite aerodynamic look nice also the car come with the camera with sensors read the car can read the traffic speed limit lane assist all that uh, emergency um, safety features are here and also the light and the raining sensors on the roof of the car you can see right here it comes with a big antenna i don't know why they chose to do that i was expect to have a little bit of smaller antenna right there the roof spoiler up here it's it's nice but it's simple i, I always expect something more aggressive from an fr i don't know at least for me then you have the brake light here the wiper normal window in the back also you have the fr logo on the right side and if I go down here, you can see you have a camera and also uh, LED lights on the number plate. I will try to turn on the light so you can see it. The exhaust pipes, you can see two fake exhaust pipes right there. So overall, on the right side, you have the tank. This is the petrol tank on the right side. Around the windows, you can have this rubber around here. The lossy plastic between the windows. It looks okay, but nothing extra, nothing fancy, nothing extraordinary for a new for a change i should say in the front although i like the hood i like the lines here really interesting lines there yeah look at this the grill it's very similar with the previous version i was expect something new in comparison for example with the new 
Cupra born. It's, it's kind of flat, this uh, Ibiza. Anyway, I like the fact although that you have full LED lights, those are really good in the nighttime, very good quality. Also down here you have the fog lamps that are halogen light, no LED light, just halogen. Then you have four uh, parking sensors in the front. You have the radar down here for emergency brake, all that safety features. And then you have the air intakes uh, and then the radiator behind there to cool down the, the engine. So that's the exterior guys. Let me turn on the lights. Finally, is nobody around me. Here is the button. I love this button from, from Seat. It's really wonderful. Really love the button. Let me see if I can turn on the lights. Oh, even the lights are kind of classic, guys. I hope they are on. Not. Why not? Come on, man. Come on, man. Show me what you got. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's better. All right, guys, look at this. I like very much the lights. As I said in the beginning, the lights are really changed and I like the three-dimensional shape. What I don't like is the bolt light on the turning signals. I don't understand why they use, why they still use the, the turning signals with the bolt light. I didn't expect that from Volkswagen Group, but I guess it's fine, yeah. Anyway, let's go forward. LED lights on the mirror right here and it looks quite good. And then going down to the lights, also quite nice in the same place where are the turning signals right now it's also the daylight so now you can make an idea but the lights are really good that that's something that i like it i mean it's really really good let me turn off the turning signals from here let me show you the hood then i will go inside the trunk i'll show you also the space in the trunk right there open this up this is the engine one liter tsi 110 horsepower pretty simple array same as Volkswagen Polo yeah you have a manual lift gate here pretty heavy and no isolation on the upper side for the sound and noise but I think they have a great great sound insulation um, from what I know anyway open the trunk this is the space in the trunk quite big I should say didn't expect to be so big. The only thing is that you have this corner here round, but other than that, it's relatively big. Also up here, you have some handles so you can close it. You have this protection for the trunk. I will take it out to show you the way it looks. Some plastic at the entrance, around seven centimeters here, maybe around 10 uh, deepness. Some storage space on the left side. On the right side, you have a normal bolt light, some uh, elastics here or how they call it and then under you have oh so much space and a spare tire oh yeah that i didn't expect that so great job great job Seat, i love that anyway you can put this even down or like that and then you have 25 centimeters lovely lovely adjustments here guys i like that oh let me put it back i think i think i can do it with one hand yes i do it great 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 if you want to take this out you can do it very simple, just like that. Okay, simple, simple, simple. With only one, one hand. So you can see one more time the way it looks, the trunk. It's relatively big. It looks just, just nice. I like that. I mean, in terms of trunk and space, the size of the car, it's relatively good. The only downside is you cannot fold the middle part. You have to fold it 60. 40 and then you have almost a flat floor there oh yeah i like that really really practical i like it super great space great space now let me go on the side let me show you here entrance relatively big yeah it's nice it's big you can see down there it looks good 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 also on the legs room, you have a big transmission tunnel. Uh, yes, you have it. Volkswagen Group usually have a big transmission tunnel in the middle. Now, if I want to put this back, guys, let me put, put the seats back and let me... Okay, great. And let me show you. Let me talk a little bit about the doors. Now, the doors, they, have, they come with a big window here and then another one on the, on the body of the car. So that, that's really good for the visibility. I will show you later. Here on the upper side, you have plastic, guys. I like the handle that they kind of blind it with the same color as the 
uh, the car and it looks nicer it's something new uh, you don't have anything soft here that's the only downside something that I don't like then you have the button for the windows you have some storage space down here speaker and that's it guys entrance in the car relatively big I should say a lot of space here I will go now and I will show you how much space you have stuff material uh, simple and clean design simple material stuff material i'm not sure if they are recycled material but they, they seems like they are but it's simple simple um i like it no center armrest that's something to keep in mind you have two ease of fix to install two child seats you have stuff material behind the front seats here in the middle you have nothing no vents no usb i don't know why the transmission tunnel is quite big oh i wish it was smaller uh but yeah let me go inside <laughs> Going inside, so many people outside. Close the door. Okay. I cannot show you the sound insulation because I forget to close the trunk, but it should be fine. Visibility on the window here, it's quite good. You have quite a big window, some small window there. So yeah, visibility is great. Um, the head space, four, almost five fingers. Uh, the knee space, it's good. I mean, I like it good space i can stretch my legs under the front seat uh, and i can stretch it really easy i don't know if you can see it but it's it's great it's great in terms of uh, leg space it's good you don't have any handle up here the roof quality i should say it's level one kind of first level entry level uh now maybe second level now but it's not very very good anyway space on the on the knee plenty of space I should say also by the way keep in mind the price of the car is really good uh, in comparison with other cars so that's why they don't use so high high quality materials four fingers here i can stretch my hand stretch my hand i'm 173 centimeters so keep in mind that guys overall the position here in the middle is very good very comfortable and i can have three people here even for short medium trips no problem i will go in the front we will talk there because there are a few changes that i like it let's go in the front here on the door big huge window i like it and it's kind of long here in this area really interesting the way it comes here in the front you have the same plastic in this area on the upper side then you have some um how should you say a plastic a gray plastic then down here you have an led light i like that very much and then you have the stuff material here soft material here uh, leather actually here is leather here is stuff material i like that uh, electric windows electric adjustable mirror handle plenty of space here in the door bands you have the beat sound system that come optional and that's the car let's enter in inside now guys look at the seats uh, the same fabric material seats as in the back but with a different design quite interesting uh, simple and comfortable that's the that's the the point of those seats and sometimes those fabric material seats are better than the leather seats you have side support side support some red stitches you have manual adjustment so you can adjust you have to adjust it manually forward backward the pedals are normal then you have this classic light array right here something that is new right here guys is this dashboard here color kind of a plastic gray silver i don't know how to call it it's really interesting it's really flat and simple something that i like and i see it new are those vents are really interesting and they integrate some kind of led light inside there really really cool uh going on the dash you have soft material look at this this is soft and it has also a nice trim level added to it so that's great <laughs> going inside guys close the door oh yeah now the trunk is closed and a lot of people around the sound insulation is quite good. You can also adjust the seats in every position you want manually from here. It's quite nice. I think it's the same same manual adjustment as on the Volkswagen Group cars. Uh, visibility around the windows, it is perfect. Yeah, great visibility around the windows there. Also in the back, you can see also the seats right there. One more time here in the middle, you have an armrest that you can adjust it. It's also made by uh, fabric material. You can open it up. You have some storage space there no usb nothing uh, then you have another storage space you have here a 12 volt port some storage space two cup holders manual handbrake with red stitches uh, i think I, you can get optional also electronic handbrake not sure about that i like although very much this uh, this part right here in the front it looks really really interesting uh, here you have the stick although i wish to see that shift by wire transmission 
in the future i don't know this stick seems a little bit oldish but it's not it's simple to use it's nice nothing to say nothing to complain about it let me fold the the seats a little bit forward okay great i don't want to start the engine but i want to put the contact and the car doesn't have the key here i have to take it anyway from here you can change different driving modes guys um i think the car has sport echo and somehow uh, normal mode then you have the traction control then you have the lock and unlock button uh, then you have the start engine button right here um, that looks gorgeous i mean i like the way it's pulping like that uh, then you have the multimedia right here in the front i'll show you a little bit later then you have a storage space where you can charge your phone wireless and two usb c very very useful so great job then you have the climatic system that you can also turn it on from here it's very simple you have physical button that you can adjust just push it turn it on off super super simple the vents in the middle doesn't have any led light or or they have i'm not sure about that no they don't have only the the, the vents on the side they have that led light those doesn't have it uh, but it's okay i like the led although in the door let me close the door they feel quite good quality um where is the, the glow box let me open the glow box it's relatively big don't have any light there but it's it's big it's practical then the dashboard i like the dashboard it's really interesting and also the way they design um the dash it's quite nice also the mirror here good visibility in the back so up here you have a light an led light i think it is then you have information service sos button now here you have a light no led just a mirror not led it's just a normal mirror and let's go to the steering wheel one of my favorite part in the car the steering wheel it's gorgeous i mean this fr steering wheel it looks phenomenal it feels phenomenal very good high quality leather you can see close up it's just perfect lovely you have the clappers here you can change the the gear manual if you want to have some fun you can adjust the steering wheel uh, manual forward backward up down um, then you have also controls for the cruise control the car come with the latest travel assist um, from volkswagen group and then you have the controllers for the uh, cockpit i already have a video with this cockpit it's really really good if you want to see the multimedia and the uh, cockpit from seat check out on my channel i have a video about that i don't think uh make a point to show you right now is the same one as you find it also on the other seat cars so also the um multimedia here is quite big in the middle and yeah i like it good resolution it's very easy to use usually um that's it guys i don't want to make the video too long uh, if you want to see the multimedia and also the cockpit i have a separate video from seat new multimedia system check it out on my channel there you you will find all the infos i will show you really really fast although uh, so you can make an idea the way it looks um, it's it's kind of responsive i like how responsive it is um, i like that you can change and it's kind of um, modern software and graphics uh, looking quite nice also you have the telephone full length um, the vehicle right here information you can see all that consumptions and infos uh, then you have the telephone you have here the the connectivity to apple auto apple uh, android auto and apple carplay you can connect it to a cable keep in mind you have to use the cable navigation media here what more here you go to menu here you have the the front page the home page where you have all the information about the car yeah i have a separate video there you can see it it's not the same car but it's the same multimedia system where you can see the same features that the car can do i have to start the car i cannot do that inside here so yeah that was all guys also here are some kind of shortcut buttons that you can touch it very simple come on come on come on man search entries no map and up here you have also the brightness of the screen and stuff like that usually when i press this it should work yes good that was all guys that was the video thank you for watching that was the short review with the new seat ibiza 2022 model uh, i hope you enjoyed it. i hope you get some useful information sorry if i was bad in this video but usually uh, i don't have so much stress and i don't have to make so many cars in one day and i hope you get some useful information so 
anyway thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to see the newest car on the market uh, also i will make a separate video with this car when i get the time thank you again stay safe don't forget to subscribe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys